day it is. Oh, hello everybody. Oh, let me just get my glasses. Hmm, I'm going to check my calendar. Oh my goodness, it's June 8th. Wow, nothing has changed since this quarantine began. Every day seems like the same. Oh, wait. I wonder if something has changed. watering my flowers at the beginning of the quarantine. I, I wonder if anything's changed. I think I'll go down into my garden and check. <gasps> oh, look at my rose bush. Look at my beautiful roses. Look at how beautiful they've bloomed. I really took a good care of them during this quarantine. But wait, some of my blooms didn't open yet. Like this one here. I think I have a late bloomer. Oh, that reminds me of a story called Leo the Late Bloomer by Robert Krauss no relation to Mrs. Krause. He spells his name differently. But come with me into the shade, we'll sit on a bench, and I'll share this story with you today. So the story I have for you today is called Leo the Late Bloomer by Robert Krause. In this story, the character of Leo is just like my roses. He's a late bloomer. Let's find out what happens to Leo. off with Leo. Leo couldn't do anything right. How do you think he feels about that? He couldn't read. Look at all his animal friends, what they're doing. Even the elephant can read. And the crocodile. He couldn't write. Look, Owl can write his name, Elephant can do his, even the plover and the crocodile are able to write their names. But not Leo. He could draw, or I should say he couldn't draw. All the other animals are able to draw, but look at Leo down here. He can't do it. Oh, he was a sloppy eater. And he never said a word. Owl can hoot. Elephant can thrump. Snake will hiss. The plover goes pip. And the crocodile says crunch. I can see the author here used some automatopoeia. What's the matter with Leo? Asked Leo's father. Nothing, said Leo's mother. Leo is just a late bloomer. Hmm, better late than never, thought Leo's father. How do you think his parents feel? Every day, Leo's father watched him for signs of blooming. There he is, hiding behind the bushes. I like the way the 
author shows that, that in the illustration. And every night, Leo's father watched him for signs of blooming. There he is hiding again. Are you sure Leo's a bloomer? asked Leo's father. Patience, said Leo's mother. A watched bloomer doesn't bloom. So, Leo's father watched television instead of Leo. But again, if we take a close look at this illustration, is Leo's father really watching television? Or is he still watching Leo? The snows came. Leo's father wasn't watching. But still, Leo wasn't blooming. What is his father busy doing? We need to look at those illustrations to see what's happening. Look at the snake, what he can do. And the owl. All Leo's friends are able to build something out of the snow. But not Leo. The trees budded. Leo's father wasn't watching. What is he busy doing now? But Leo still wasn't blooming. All his animal friends are able to make something out of the spring flowers. But Leo can't do it. Then, one day, in his own good time, Leo bloomed, just like my roses. How do you think he feels? I want you to think about the character of Leo. Remember what he was like at the beginning of the story? And now he's changed. He's been growing and changing the whole time. He could read. He could write. Look, he's writing Leo. He could draw. He ate neatly. He also spoke, and it wasn't just a word. It was a whole sentence, and that sentence was, I made it. How do you think the mom and dad feel now? So I want you to think about how the character in this story changed. At the beginning of the story, he was so sad because he couldn't do all the things his friends were doing. But what he didn't realize was, he was growing and changing the whole time. And at the end of the story, he bloomed, just like my roses will do. And kindergarten friends, I want you to know, you've been doing that too. All during the quarantine, when you thought nothing was happening, you were growing and changing. And I can see that, and all your teachers can see that, when we look at the work that you give us every day. We can see how much you have learned and how you have grown and changed. You are all bloomers now. Thank you for reading this story with me today.